In this video, I'd like to cover eBGP eVPN multi AS with VSSEC or the centralized layer tree gateway use. In the previous video, I covered iBGP eVPN with VSSEC. So in this video, I'd just like to cover the differences. This is still a slash 31 IP fabric and slash 32 loopback addresses. The difference is eBGP is used between the leaf and spines, but the tabs in the rack, they're in the same AS number. 65001 on the left, rack 1, rack 2 has 65002. Spines are in 65101. We will use loopback 0 here between the leaf and the spines using eBGP, and we use iBGP between the leaves and the rack. Whatever we peered before uses the IPv4 address family. We will also use loopback 0 for the eBGP VPN address family with multi hop in the leaves and the spines. So each leaf will eVPN peer to both spines. 1A will eVPN peer to spine 1 and spine 2. 1V will eVPN peer to spine 1, spine 2. Same for leave 2A and 2. This way, the leaves do not need to peer to each other. And loopback 1 will be used for the tunnel, any cast IP. So 100.1 will exist on both 1A and 1B, 100.2 will exist on 2A and 2B. So the tunnels will be formed from 100.1 to 100.2. And eBGP eVPN requires next hop unchanged on the spines. So that the VTAP next hop remains unchanged. So rec 1 will still see next hop of VTAP and rec 2 as 100.2. Let's start by looking at the configs of the leaf and spine switches. We select the spines. There's no change to the management IP, the downlinks of the spine switches toward the leaves. They use the same slash 31 IPs as in the previous videos, the same loopbacks. The difference is AS number. Spines are in 65101. They have unique router IDs. I have fast external failover configured because the leaf switches are in different AS number. This will help speed up any failures in the network. I also have eBGP peering with multi hop to all the loopback addresses of all the leaf switches. So rack 1 has 65001 AS number, rack 2 has 65002 these loopback addresses. I have multi hop set to 3 so that in case we need to use the other links using the ISL, we can still reach VTAP 1A for example. If the uplinks on 1A fail, we can use multi hop through the ISL link from 1B. All the loopback peering will be used under address family L2 VPN eVPN. However, the directly connected peering here. All these IP addresses, so on the physical IP interfaces, they will be for the address family IPv4. Now, eVPN address family is activated, set it to next hop unchanged for all the loopback address. So let's say if we forgot to add next hop unchanged, what happens is the next hop from rec 1, you will actually see the spine as a next hop. But when you add the next hop unchanged, the next hop will be shown as rec 2's tunnel IP as a next hop. Under address IPv4 unicast, you see all activated as a direct peering. We use redistribute connected to advertise all these links to ensure full fabric connectivity. These are the loopback addresses that we want to advertise out as well to the rest of the fabric. And that's the configs for the spine switches. Let's look at leaf 1A and 1B in red 1 next. No changes for the VLANs, for the VLANs under eVPN, RDs and RTs. But of course, with eBGP eVPN, these have to be set manually. We cannot use auto. Auto only works with iBGP. VSX, no change here. 1A and 1B are in 65001 and I enabled fast external failover because we're peering to different AS number in the spine. These are the spines in 65101 and eBGP multi hop. We use the loopback as a source. These are the physical IP peering for IPv4 address family. Under eVPN, we use the loopbacks to activate. So next hop unchanged is not required on the leaf switches, it's only required on the spine switches. Under IPv4, we activate it, we distribute connected. Advertise loopback addresses and advertise the logical VTAP IP on loopback 1. That's it for leaf 1A and 1B. For leaf 2A and 2B in rack 2, we have the VRFs, no change compared to the iBGP eVPN. For the VLANs and VLANs under eVPN, they look similar to leaf 1A and 1B. You also need to set manual because you're using eBGP eVPN here. The VLANs with VRFs attached are similar to iBGP eVPN, no difference there, no difference for VXLAN as well compared to iBGP eVPN. This is different because Rack 2 uses AS number 65002, so the spines are in 65101 with eBGP multi hop enabled for the eVPN address family. And the physical IPs are for the IPv4 address family. Under address family L2 eVPN, eVPN would activate towards the spine switches, send the communities. We also activate IPv4 towards the spine switches as well as IBGP between the two switches, the same AS number. Redistribute connected is for full fabric connectivity and the loopback addresses are advertised via the network command. This is for the logical VTAP IP on leaf 2A and 2B. VRFs under BGP is similar to iBGP VPN. So no change here for the external and VRF A and B. And that's it for the configs for Rack 2, leaf 2A and 2B. Let's validate VM1 connectivity on server 1 to a VM on Rack 2. That works. 
as well as external connectivity from Vivo One. That also works. Let's leave the pings running to Rec2. Let's take a look at some output from Spine's perspective, IPv4, appearing Spine sign 65101, and appearing to Rec1 65001, and Rec2 65001. I'll establish an up for the EVPN appearing. You see the Spine 65101, and they appear to the loopback addresses, both tabs in Rec1 and V tabs in Rec2. Different AS number. For the VTAP in Rec1, 1B, you can also see similar information EVPN 65001 local, and they're appearing to both loopbacks of the spines. So there's no peering required to the other racks at all. IPv4, same thing, is direct peering to the spines, but also IBGP to the next VSX switch in the same AS number. MAC addresses. You can see FD54, which is the server in Rec1, Lag 10, VNs 11, 12, 13. All see the MAC addresses coming in. So let's shut that down towards the server. Let's check. Zero packet loss. Continue the pings. So now all traffic is forced towards div 1A because the link on 1B is shut down towards the server. Next, we go to div 1A and we verify that FD54 is still seen on lag 10 on 1A, 11, 11, 12. They all see FD54. And we're going to shut down the uplinks towards the spine switches next. This way, all traffic that comes in through lag 10 is forced to go through the ISL link towards the spines through leaf 1. Let's check. The pings are still going. Packet loss, 0% seen. Because the uplinks are shut down, the IPv4 appearing on the physical IPs are all idle now. No longer active or established, but the EVPN is still established. As you can see, because it's going through the ISL link through leaf 1B. To prove that all traffic is indeed going through leaf 1A, let's continue the pings again. Let it run, we go through 1A, we shut down the only link, leg 10, now. So this way, there's no traffic that can go through rec 1 to rec 2 any longer.